Karma Viv, and welcome to another Insightful Moms video with Karma Family. My son is also here helping me out. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Thank you. And I am here to, I usually make videos about my wonderful family and pets, and I'm just so proud of them, and I'm so happy that I just want to share my joy and my happiness. I am legally blind, which I have mentioned in other videos. I have optic atrophy. My vision acuity is 2800, which simply means that when someone would see 800 feet away, I may begin to see when it's about 20 feet away. That is a general term. There's a lot more. That's very the simplified term, but there's a lot more to it, which I explain in further the detail in another video. But that is what I am. And one of the things I have been hearing in the blind community is about starting a family. A lot of people are afraid to start families. And I am so lucky and fortunate that I have my wonderful, amazing family. I am proud of them. I am a single mom. I have three boys, twins, and one of them is there, right? Right? Hello. And I have 11 years old twin boys, and I also have a 14 year old boy that I am also very proud of. I am proud of all my boys. They are so wonderful, and I am so grateful for them. The one thing I want to talk about today is how there are little things that you can do to help. I had someone come and visit who basically I was trying to mention, she was wondering what the alarms were. I have different alarms and different timers, and it is, she was saying, well, I have Siri, so I don't really need anything. But when she heard, when I'm, Alexa, see, Alexa's right here. Alexa, hi. Hi there, Vivian. Have a good night. You too. So I am, I'm going to be mentioning Alexa because she is the first generation Alexa. There are others that have come out since then. But she helps me out a lot. I have timers with uh, different things in case I'm working in the kitchen and I've got a chicken timer and I've got a rice timer and I've got a different vegetable timer. I can set those timers up. And as I said, I had someone come who was visiting, a friend of mine, and at first she said she didn't really need Alexa because she has Siri, which is fine. But when she heard that I could set all these different alarms and name them, that made her say, huh, you know, maybe Alexa could be useful in my home as well because I can set all these different timers. I can set, now that the children are home from school, I can also set several alarms. So because of COVID and digital learning, there are several alarms that I need to set in the morning and because they are in different grades, my older son is in high school, the twins are in middle school, I have to set different alarms so that they will not be late for class so that they can sign in and be ready for class on time through Teams. And I need to do that and they understand that this alarm is for the high school, this alarm is for me, this alarm means that lunchtime is over and I better hurry up and get back to Teams so that I won't be late for class. Those things are very important too. So for example, Alexa, set a chicken timer for 20 minutes. Chicken timer, 20 minutes, starting now. Alexa, set a vegetable timer for 10 minutes. Vegetable timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Alexa, set a rice timer for 15 minutes. Rice timer, 15 minutes, starting now. Alexa, set a 10 minute kids take a break timer. Kids take a break timer, 10 minutes, starting now. I can have all those timers set up and it's just so much easier because I can help one with their homework while all of a sudden if I hear a timer, I know that that's the chicken timer, that's the rice timer, that's the veggie timer, let me hurry up and get up. Oh wait, my son's break is over, he needs to go back into his studies or okay, uh, someone needs to be ready for bed. So for example, my alarms. Alexa, Alexa, what are my alarms? You have six alarms. Every day at 9 p.m., every day at 10 p.m., every weekday at 8 a.m., every weekday at 8.15 a.m., every weekday at 11.40 a.m., and every day at 5 p.m. These alarms help me so that I know who's supposed to be going to school, who's supposed to be ready, what time they're supposed to be in bed, what time they need to definitely be in bed, what time they need to be ready for bed. 
these things help a lot and I don't have to worry about it. I can focus and put all my concentration on being there for them, helping them with whatever they need, helping them with their homework, have, have give them my full attention. And if the alarm goes off, then I know, oops, got to do this. Oops, got to do that. And it really does help a lot. And I'm going to be featuring some things that really help me. As I said, my family is very supportive. I hope that you have a wonderful support team out there, a wonderful family, a wonder, wonderful friends who are there for you. And I'm doing my best to also be there for you to help you make life just a little bit easier. And I love my family and I love having them and I appreciate them so, so very much. And I just want to share little tricks and tips that I've learned over time to make things a little bit easier, not as stressful, useful little simple things that help out so much. And this is one of them. And I'm going to keep bringing that to you. I want you to also put in the comments things that help you, things that make life easier. I want us as a community to work together and help each other out any way that we can, even if it's through advice or just by saying great job or just by saying, wow, that's a wonderful idea. I really would love to hear your comments and I want you to continue to be safe and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye.